from you this time. Ah! Hacking into the stock market. Close, closing down a bank. Fixing an election. It's all, it's all easy. Right on. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Trash Movie Kings podcast. It has been another year, another season of uh, shitty movies. I don't know how we did it, uh, but we did. Thank you to specifically Joey for picking out, what, 50 some odd movies? Uh, A little less than 50 probably this year. Uh, I think 44, I want to (laughs) say. I I, I forget. I don't know if I really counted, but that sounds Mm. appropriate. And there may have been a few, like, I think, you know, Jonathan picked one and Amy probably picked one or two, but Joey definitely did the, uh, the lion's share of the work there. So thank you. Uh, it's a lot of work. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, but we are here. We are here at the end of the year for end of the, the road. Second annual greens. We, uh, we made it. And you know what? I just remembered. I, eh, don't worry about it. I had I had an intro, but I didn't put music on it. So <laughs> fuck it. Well, look at this, clip. this is all co- this is all coming we'll in real high. Edit. <laughs> good good yeah. start. Yeah, well, I'll start. put that in the edit. Yeah. Wow, that It'll was a probably great intro, be the, man. Wow. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the the full crew's here. We've got Joseph Graham, Justin Petty, Apocalypse Howl, and JD Carpicky. I'm your host, Adam Edwards. Uh, the last time that we were all together, we kind of talked about the movies and the categories and everything, and we came to a loose consensus of the nominees. And then we whittled it down through a series of votes to three per category. I think one might have had four. No, just three per category. And uh, we have voted, and now we have winners. And I'm the only one that knows the winners. I held all this power over you guys. It's... I know. Likes it that way. Yeah. We've all that's enjoyed that part of it. Yeah, that's been a good aspect of this. The, mystery, <laughs> the withholding. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. So before we mm-hmm. get too into the weeds, we'll just do a quick rundown of the different categories. I'm not going to list all the nominees because we'll do that as we get to each category. But as a reminder, the categories are best title card, best stunt, best fight, best creature, Best Special Effects, Best Song, Best Score, Best Death, Best B, Best Happy Look Out Ah, Best Bit, Best Unintentional Protagonist, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Episode, and Best Movie. We've gone up by, what, four categories from last yeah, year? Yeah, we have 17 this year. I don't remember exactly how many last year, but... Uh, I feel like it was 13 or 14 last year. Stacked year. Does anybody have any thoughts? Anything they want to say before we get started? I'm vamping a little bit. No? <laughs> Nothing at all. Like, you know, everyone listening right now should really go back and watch all the episodes because there's some great riffs. I think the strongest bits or riffs or whatever you want to call it were like very short this year because they were just they packed a punch and they stuck with us. But go back and watch the episodes. We're we're really funny. Please believe me. <laughs> um, please believe him. Yeah. Please respect us as a as a yes. podcast. As we're men. <laughs> we we're are people, people. <laughs> who do shit. Do things. <laughs> Not well, but we do them, and we deserve we to be paid attention to. <laughs> we record them, not paid, but paid attention. We are paid in we are beer paid in and attention. love. That's all we need. Yes. Mm-hmm. Please pay us mm-hmm. your attention. <laughs> yeah, we've worked very hard for it. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> all right, cool. first category: best title card, Justice Ninja style. Chick Boxer and Night of the Demon. Any, that's right. Any thoughts? Any? I feel like it's got to be Chick Boxer. Yeah. You think? I assumed Night of the Demon because it is actually really good, but Chick Boxer is the <clears throat> stupidest and probably the trashiest. <clears throat> yeah, I, I was wondering how y'all approach this because when I watch the Chick Boxer ones, just hilarious. It's kind of mm-hmm. like. Yeah the discussion we're going to have about 
about sniper special ops, the stunt, but we'll wait for that. Uh, but like, God, I hope that one. Yeah, Night of the Demon. <laughs> when Night of the Demon with the blood and everything, I was like, oh, this looks modern as fuck. This is like, this is really good. It has that weird like soundtrack oh, thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It reminds me of yeah. um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That kind yeah. of like oh, random yeah. <clears throat> sound. The camera sound that they do. No, more I just like the. Chainsaw. I don't know. I'd have to listen to it to figure out what the instrumentation actually is. But it, <laughs> it's just kind of random shit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what I voted for. Who won? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember actually what I voted for. Is, is it me? Oh, okay, we're not doing that. Night of the ah, Demon. Night of the wow. Demon. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. It's a good time. I didn't vote for Chick Boxer. Uh, so that was a three to two split. Nobody voted for Justice Ninja style mm. or whatever. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, it was good. I like the <clears throat> Mr. Yeah. Rogers riff we did was good, but yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. No, no thoughts. Cool. This is going to be a quick episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I gave just... <laughs> my thoughts. I wanted to know who didn't vote for Chick Boxer. I voted for Chick Boxer. I believe uh, I voted for it twice. I'm trying to see the best. Uh, I nominated it for sure, but then the Night of the Demon just won for me. So it was JD. He was the three-two split. It was <laughs> this this bitch here. I like to split them up. <clears throat> so it was, yeah. Myself, Joey, and JD voted for Night of the Demon. JP and Apocalypse. <laughs> Joey was the one pushing so hard for the Chick Boxer title card too. <laughs> No, that's Most what's time. interesting is I'm the one that nominated it, and then Joey was like, "Yeah, that's actually a good call." And then we did not vote for it. <laughs> and I mean, Apocalypse, just because well, I think it's good doesn't yeah. mean I think it's the best. Yeah. No, I know. But to, then Apocalypse, who loves Sasquatch and Bigfoot, did not vote yeah. for Night of the Demon <laughs> because it's not based on that. I mean, it, I didn't think of Night of a Demon's title card as being epic. It's great. I don't Whereas know because like, it's it's blood filling up a footprint. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Sure. It's the font Dumb. is good too. Like yeah, and it's, it's actually it's not as awesome as watching a girl tie her shoes for like three minutes. <laughs> <I know. laughs> three? What podcast are you on? It's like God. six and a half or something. <laughs> it's a long yeah. time. <laughs> it's the whole credits. They do yeah. the whole credits of the movie, and then the title card comes up. All like, I know in the next scene, actually. So all I know is next year I'm paying way more nah. attention to title cards. Are you? <laughs> yes. I, I, I can't wait for you're going to be in category. I did. <laughs> he has a resolution. <laughs> He's going to be up at night wiping a baby's butt and also thinking about title cards. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this would make a much. great title card. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this, and he this smears it on the wall because yeah. he's, yeah. he's like lack. He hasn't slept more than yeah, three well, hours in yeah. a row in two months. Well, he's gonna re- wipe the title card on the wall and shit. <laughs> Next category. Uh... <laughs> well, I just want to say that I'm, I'm happy that you know me and Joey last year we really butt heads through the whole episode. You guys should go check it out. Like pause this and go check that out. Um, it's only two hours long. Don't worry about it. Um. But I feel like we're kind of in solidarity already to start. And one for I mean, one. With that, I'm, just getting a little, I'm a little hot I, to I myself. Fucking, I fucking knew it, man. I was like, that hoodie is way too tight. It's that's fucking like, skin that tight. That doesn't even count. That's the bit that I did last year. It's just I know, but I'm surprised tuxedo. y'all didn't do it. Why didn't y'all yeah, do it? I can't get out of it. It was an old bit. When, yeah. And waiting. Oh, God. Are you still wearing the My hands the are mittens? stuck. I'm glad that you look the best now. <laughs> Debatably, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I yeah. I did. Yeah, that was I ridiculous. put a lot of thought into what I was gonna wear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, did. I was like, did I you do look have like this jacket on, and then this shirt? Yeah, this I was laying on the couch um, most of the day, and I just got up and came in here. For those on the audio podcast, he is wearing a shirt that says "Alasquatch." Yeah, it's from Alaska. I, uh, well, it's a cool Justin. looking jacket. Is that what you call? It? What do you call that kind of jacket? Just cool. It's cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. jacket. Just cool. <clears throat> I think. I think it's like kind of a quasi bomber jacket. Yeah, and let's a cool looking jacket. Next category. 
best stunt going down the stairs. Going down the stairs. <laughs> Literally dying. Oh. Falling down the stairs. Wait, was that the falling down the stairs one? Is that the one including the wheelchair one? Yeah. Oh, that was a good yeah. one too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. good. Going down Finger, the stairs. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I know this it is the tough. first yeah. time I voted for falling down the stairs, and I think the second time when it whittled down, like going I, down I, the I stairs or falling it. down the stairs. Falling down first time, and I moved it to going down the second. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I think I, I, did the I same rethought thing. my my. I was like, this is this is it. This is it. <laughs> if you you're gonna do your whole for one approach. category, yeah. okay, okay, hold on. Are we about to honestly? And I wish you would watch this. Give Steven Seagal an award <laughs> for best stunt. No, it's not his stunt. It's the stunt man who stunt. Right. right. It's not man. <laughs> yeah, the, the reason the stunt exists is because this... he didn't want to get on go back to set that day. Steven, <laughs> Steven if you're listening, he had to get out of his chair an... and he only does it once. This is an honor. I am fairly certain I did not I vote honored. for this one, and now I wish I had. <laughs> I'm honored to give you this award. All right, Adam. Wait, go. We don't even know if it won. What did you vote for, JD? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, I want to know, see Bert. the winner. I don't know. Well, well, I'm real Bert. I don't know, Bert. <laughs> don't forget the bullets. <laughs> you and me and a pint of gin. Yeah. And the award for best stunt goes to... Oh, yes. Going down the stairs. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> So I left all my trophies somewhere. All right. Was I the only one who voted no, against Joey this and I voted for falling down the stairs? Oh my god. And just no. like that, I the swerve out of the lane. <laughs> <laughs> you swerve out of my lane and you're going in we're going head on each other somehow. <laughs> well, so are well, you look, here's put the, the thing. I hoodie back on or swerve. Bitch. No, no, God, I can't. I don't think I could. Um what do you But for this that? one, I felt like for one category we needed <laughs> <laughs> well, since is you asked, there, is there a third thing? <laughs> There's a white T-shirt under here. Oh, that's just me. Okay, no. What do you want? What are you wearing under, under that? <laughs> <laughs> I forget. For those in the audio podcast, JD was wearing a hoodie that looked like um, Deadpool. Like Deadpool, and then he took it off, and now he's wearing a legitimate tuxedo. Yeah, it was a gregarious hoodie. Like it, it was something Very. I've never seen him wear before. And we all told him we were it. like we were like <laughs> yeah that's it was not neoprene. that's that. <laughs> I did look like a what is it a, a five pound bag ten what what is it the ten pound sh- just just shit in a five stuffed. pound bag <laughs> that's what I look like pounds yeah. of shit in a five pound bag yeah mm-hmm. that is a fucking terrible thing to say to someone <laughs> <laughs> hey you look like t- a ten pound hey. shit in a five pound bag. <laughs> First off, you look like shit, and also you look like way too much shit. Also, you look like way too much shit. <laughs> it's, it's all over your hands and it's on your shoes, probably. I've never thought of that saying until now. <laughs> Oof. I hope no one ever says that to me. <laughs> I'll be devastated. Not only shit. <laughs> Next category, we have best fight. Nominees for the best fight. Master vs. Python in Calamity of Snakes, Actual Fight in Sworn to Justice, and the Willie Nelson Fight in Justice Ninja Style. Best Fight! Thank you. I know which one I voted for, so we'll see. Yeah. Which one did you vote for? I voted for the actual fight in nice. Sworn to Justice. What a because loser. I was, <laughs> well, I just, I think... I think that was like a really good choreographed fight scene. Good stunt work uh, from the uh, guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not Cynthia Rothrock's best work. I mean, she she did what she does. No, uh, I went back and listened to that one and your explanation of how... I don't know. What was it like? I don't remember, but she has oh, like a point sparring male fight choreographer? style. So none of her moves are that believable to me but like um i mean she's good at them she's talented she's really good at point sparring type of fighting but he sells it completely yeah he's mm-hmm. good no yeah it's good he it bounces off good of that car thing. and shit 
It's crazy. They're doing it all on yeah. the car. Um, the snake thing is a whole other coordination affair that I think is amazing. It's mm-hmm. definitely what I voted for. The Willie Nelson thing is just hilarious. It's probably the trashiest funny, yeah. one of all of them because it's so dumb. And long. It's so long. Long and dumb. <laughs> yeah. It was a really good transition, uh, and then it's long. I can I confirm. I forgot Banya was in that. Yeah. Yes. And then the ninja is helping him secretly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can confirm <laughs> that Apocalypse ninja. voted for the actual fight. And the winner for best fight is... Master versus Fuck Python, yes. Calamity of Snakes, 1983. Hell yeah, it is. There you go. Probably the best he, thing we saw all year. Other As than far, when he bursts out of the boxes well, like that, just that fuck. fight. That, I wouldn't say that movie. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I mean it's, it's the only one I bought on Blu-ray, so I Oof. have to disagree. Oof. So amazing. Oof. That's unfortunate, man. <laughs> Whatever. You're just encouraging them to kill snakes. Yes, by purchasing yeah. this, I'm encouraging everyone to go out and murder snakes. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that's uh, true. Sequel to Calamity of <laughs> Snakes you're, you're just greenlit. It. Because uh, Joey bought one on the DVD. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> perpetuating. Apocalypse, you need to come over and watch that. But I agree. It's, They're like, uh, well, we have an unreal. audience, so uh, we might as well make a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to make guys. a sequel for this one. We're going to kill 10,000 snakes so this one guy can buy another DVD. Honestly, <laughs> if we had a very... We'll do it with CGI. <laughs> if we had a very, yeah. very, very small fan base for Monomania... <laughs> And they were very interested in what happens after issue four. I'd I'd put more effort into it. So sometimes all it takes yeah. is one. Hey, I'm interested. But are you are you killing actual bears for the bear head in Monomania? I mean, it's a we should it's, start. We we could. <laughs> we <Yeah>. should start <laughs> going bear hunting. <laughs> hey, that's illegal. You can bear going bear hunting so that we can prop up the bear head to sketch it. Mm-hmm. Just to draw it. No, we can wear it <laughs> and take pictures. <laughs> Best creature feature with a CR. Curse to the bite, 1989. Calamity of snakes, 1983. Evil tunes, 1991. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Well, we all <clears throat> we all know which one should win. <laughs> Which one should win? So which which one is it? It's Curse to the Bite and what was the other Curse one? to the Bite of Snakes. Oh, the Big Boy <clears throat> Python. Yeah, Big Boy yeah. Python and uh, mm. Evil Tune mm. is the horny Evil Tune fella. I think I went with the horny uh, werewolf guy. I went. I with, think he should win. Uh, I went with the uh, Curse to the Bite. You would. good. I might have that, thir- that third act creature was so cool. Amazing yeah, when it's like head splits open and the snake comes out and all that stuff. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. But the other stuff. guy says nice tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys I, saw like, that. A, I mean, that's a <laughs> winning argument if I've ever heard one. Do you even listen to the podcast? I mean, it's important. JD, who'd you vote for? Uh, I, th- I can't remember, actually. I might have... <laughs> I might have voted. For, I might have been the only one that voted for the Python, actually. Now that I think about mm. it, but Curse Two, it was either between one of those because I, I like the Evil Tunes guy, but it wasn't like a creature to me. So I just, I was thinking mm. more pra- like effects based creature, but yeah, it was one of those. For wow, sure. so I'm the only Every one who you... likes tits here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just okay. don't want a werewolf going after the tits that I'm looking at. Yeah, the tits only are just for me. Four minutes. They're just for me. Yeah. Maybe you're gonna stingy yeah, with your tits. I don't want to fight a cartoon wolf. <laughs> and then he's gonna start yeah, honking them, and like they're just <laughs> gonna start doing the <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't. No, no, no. You can't deal with that. <laughs> no. Uh, Those illustrations I'd, were I'd horrible. Great time. <laughs> Do you know how much willpower it takes to maintain an erection at this point in my life? Come on, I can't be fighting a wolf. <laughs> It would be rather distracting. <laughs> How much Wally Coyote power? Although I don't know if he ju- if he jumps in and starts cucking you, he'd probably pop off pretty fast. Mm, true. 
I don't know if he then he become he, he, he start pulling on your pud. Is it like Cool <laughs> World rules where if he fucks and comes, he becomes real? Maybe. Mm. Oh wow! Brad, <laughs> Suddenly he's just like a answer. real wolf, and he attacks Adam. Is <laughs> <laughs> a lycanthrop or a throp or whatever the fuck that word is? I'm complete bloodlust. <laughs> But he still pulls his head like that. (laughs) 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 But he's a real terrifying wolf. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You guys should have voted for nice tits. (laughs) I didn't see it. So they also were. I've also never actually heard the line said by the character. (laughs) Just Just JD. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Just me. (laughs) Let's see who won. And the winner for best creature is. Curse yeah. to the bite. Yes. Nice. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, beautiful. Good. <laughs> Which one did I vote for? I don't remember. You voted for Ma- uh, Big Boy Python. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, Moonlight again. Was that an Adam Apocalypse Justin uh, Justin combo? Look, yeah. if, if, if a rare Curse combo. to the bite, <laughs> yeah. if that wasn't going to win, I was going to have to write a letter contesting oh the results <laughs> honestly oh, like really? i don't think the three of us have ever been on the same page with anything <laughs> like, <laughs> that was the <laughs> first <laughs> uh, like how we all worked on your movie <laughs> <laughs> both of them <laughs> we certainly weren't on the same page on set yeah because you threw them away <laughs> sure yeah, because we throw them away. <laughs> Kept throwing away the pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throwing that right out. <laughs> oh, I don't need Page that. two. Like cut All right, well, I'm not cut mad that. at it. It, it, is a, it is a guy who has a snake for an arm for the most of the movie, which is yeah. pretty great. <laughs> it's a great concept. Uh, JD, you're dressed for the occasion. Why don't you read this next one? <clears throat> what, for like Brando? <clears throat> In the title of Best Special Effects. We have Bloodlight, Act of God, special yeah. effects by Act of God. Dinosaur Island was just, uh, Pretty you know, you could see the dinosaurs in there. First two, there's a bite, there's a, there's a thing coming through a face. Yeah, best special effects. <laughs> it's the best Brando I got, I don't know. That Honestly, that's how that's that's Brando good. probably would, oh, plug, would plug, like, plug. how seriously he would well, take an award show. Well, that well, was, yeah, well, that was well, a good Brando. Oh, that's terrible radio for our audio listeners. So the best <laughs> right, special yeah. effects <laughs> are Blood Lake, through that. <laughs> Dinosaur Island, and Curse to the Bite. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the Apocalypse Photo for Curse Two. I don't think I did. <laughs> what did you vote for? Because whatever, whatever Apocalypse voted for. Unless it's unanimous, was, I, I feel he's willing like to the write rest a letter us, <laughs> just for the other one. I think I went for Curse. Sorry, what, what did you okay. vote for? I was adamantly Marcos. against Act of God. Mm. Uh, I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> Very I went back and forth on this one a lot. I was actually kind of pull, thinking about the Dinosaur Island one, but I eventually decided <laughs> I'd like to be a winner. Uh, wow. I think I went oh, Dinosaur Act Island. Of God. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I did go to Auditor Island. I can't um, I made a mistake with Blood Lake before. Okay, I'm not going to make two mistakes. <laughs> well, let's so see mistake. what happened. And the winner for best special effects. And the winner for be- best special effects <laughs> goes to. Oh, did you say something? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, goes to. Damn it. It's, it's weird. Wow. Right. Bunch, bunch of idiots. That is <laughs> once on. again a JP Man. Apocalypse Adam combo. Oh, All right, I guess what is going on here? I stand corrected. <laughs> Me and JD <laughs> against to you what? three. Yeah. We're at, well, after boys, we're everything Adam said on that episode, can we roll the tape back well, to what Adam was talking about? I'm that just, he's I'm like, real unhappy that I'm not winning all the time now. God. No, it's. Funny. I am shocked that, that is Adam didn't vote yeah. for that one. Mm, if I did, if I would have, then uh, it would have won. Again, you, I hold I'm all the power. Wait, did you Shocked see what everyone else God. voted for before you voted? <laughs> no, I voted before everybody else. I mm. it is weird that you didn't vote for that one. Why? Because you were the one shaming me for not dude. voting. You kept you kept everything I would say. You it was an act of God, an <laughs> act of God. Yeah. yeah. And then well. you didn't even vote for it. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Curse 2 has fucking amazing special effects. It God, does. I also don't know why you're upset. Movie. I voted with you and your horse won. <laughs> I'm just, it's just, this was like, it, it doesn't feel This real. was like last time this when Joey and I, when Joey and I were accurate. arguing over the category and it was both his jokes that like <laughs> both were against each other. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, JD. <laughs> Still a winner. Adam built a bunch of fake animosity for what I can only see now as a bit. He was doing a bit to get his own vote for that snake movie. Yeah, it no, doesn't make he sense. Was pretending what that saying, I don't God. know what he's saying. He I was, don't know why he didn't he was, win. He was I am very confused. For his own <laughs> well, it's, it's like, like when Democrats support Republicans in an election and like secretly, you know, like he was feels trying like to that like in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, tip the scales a little bit. I I feel it's slighted. Very, it's very it's manipulative. Fine. Collusion, perhaps? Yeah, no. Nah, Confusion? It's just straight up manipulation understand. and gaslighting. Why? From dad. Is this gaslighting? <laughs> That's what dad does. Is, you gas- <laughs> is this what it is? Yeah. Next category. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'd like to move on, wouldn't you? Just sweep it under the rug. Category of best song. We have Dance nice. or Die. We have Riding on the Edge of Night. Cyclone. Hot. And we have animal workout. <laughs> killer workout. You got to work workout. workout. Animal work. workout. <laughs> workout. Workout. Animal workout. This one was difficult for me. Yeah. Very difficult, I this thought. It's a tough one. Because there's I, three different things uh, with each one. Uh, the dancer die one, I think, is the best earworm. Mm-hmm. Um, the riding on the edge of night is actually a decent song. And the Animal Workout one is just f- like a fun children's song. I love Animal Workout. Yeah, yeah and it's also a pretty close to the as good of an earworm as Dance. <laughs> Dance or die. Not quite. It's you like know, you know what's funny is I don't even listen to music that much anymore. I'm sorry, man. So, so you you could say that you know a little bit more about this than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew a little bit less about I'm this. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't <laughs> care which one wins. <laughs> I actually don't care about any of this. Uh, I'm quitting. Well, you say that. <laughs> no, I just don't care which one wins. Uh, because what was that? Blood Lake was the one with that original metal song. Yeah, Blood Lake That's had the like, one I wanted to win. I had a couple original songs in it. Uh, you nominated the the the. I know, I know. <laughs> I assumed you voted for that one, but now I feel like you this did. Is exactly what Adam just did. Yeah. Why is everyone playing us now to get their votes in? I and don't win categories. <laughs> so weird. So the winner <laughs> for best song is riding on the yes. edge of night from Cyclone. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, three for three. I think everybody I can should. agree. Uh, everybody cannot no, agree no. because Joey and I voted for Animal Workout. Oh. Well, I just want to say I nominated I that song and I'm very glad it won. <laughs> 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 you just said you didn't care at all. <laughs> I was going back and forth a lot and I decided on uh, Animal Workout because it's the one that uh, Nolan, uh, I got to sing it in the car oh wow. like, oh that was very that was very oh, charming yeah, so. yeah. that's Aww. good that's Wait, good apocalypse what uh what did <laughs> that you was nominated in that yeah. one do you remember uh, i don't i have no clue riding on the edge of i think i think okay. one time i voted for animal workout there was a runoff on this one no there were no runoffs in the final <laughs> no <laughs> okay no then no <laughs> then I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> uh, I doubt that. Um, okay, gonna... next category. Related. Related. A lot of three to twos mm. tonight. Very weird. Yeah, very this is weird. Four to ones. No, no uh, unanimous. Uh, well, let's no have Joey yet. read this one. Joey. Next score is best, best score. Forbidden World of Porn Flute in 1982. <laughs> New Barbarians, pretty good stuff, 1983. Scream for Help, 1984, a lot of early 80s things. Best score. Best score. <laughs> yeah, do we have to talk about it? Let's just go, just go. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I gotta get to bed early. <laughs> who the fuck? What is it? Eleven twenty-three. Anyway, come on. Who the fuck didn't vote for Scream for help? Uh, this is a three to two vote. Mm. What Man. the fuck, you guys? I went. I had to go back and forth on this one a lot too. I can't remember what I even said. I'm like, pretty sure. Porn flute is good, and Scream from Help is good. It's difficult for me because I'm always trying to distribute the wins to things that I think I'm like that should win that and that should win that. That's, that's the getting most worked up. That, sure, I don't know. Everybody thinks about yeah, this very what? differently, and the thing that just both Apocalypse and Justin said. Pretty sure I voted for Forbidden World. No, I said I said I nobody I voted sure for voted Forbidden Porn World. For... <laughs> <laughs> oh, people voted for New Barbarians. <laughs> Two people voted for New Barbarians. Oh, awesome! I think oh, that one's. I think I that did. one's actually. Oh my really god! Good too. I did New Barbarians. I must have voted for Scream for Help then. I I voted for Porn Flute the first time, but then like I really listened to New Barbarians. <laughs> like, yeah. Porn Flute, the one who's great, Adam Sint. <laughs> Yeah. It's two clips. It's just the same song. <laughs> yeah. It was good. It's, though. One of them is a little bit faster. Dig it, dig it, dude. Dig it, dig it. So, the winner of best score. Uh, the best score tonight and for the year. So, scream for help. Yeah, it's a winner Thank from you. Michael Winner. No, I think I won dude. that one. No, you and Justin voted for uh, New Barbarian. You literally <laughs> just agreed to Were doing you two- that. Mike. <laughs> Wait, know. were y'all both not on screen no. for help? I didn't see Hints. it. I was on screen both for help. Oh, yeah. You were on it? Yeah, okay, okay. Was. I was just about to say, if you haven't seen the movie. Then I yeah, it's it. good. I oh, bought that one fuck. on uh, Amazon. Yeah. It's so fucking <laughs> Almost weird. as... Was <laughs> it important? <laughs> like, y'all were saying, y'all were like, there was a lot of nudity in that. And I was like, no, yeah. there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was and then yeah. like 20 yeah. minutes like, I don't remember later. that. Okay, now and then I'm you're like, I just now. remembered the nudity. <laughs> All the sex. <laughs> 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 it's not gratuitous, but there's quite a bit. There is gratuitous sex. No, but it's like... There's it's like gratuitous. A, they are fucking... Well, yeah, it's not... I'm saying it's not like though. a... It's not an erotic movie, really. It's no, just got no, a couple. No, it's no, got like three no. shots where there's tits shown. I mean, there's that shot of him fucking her from behind and like grabbing yeah. her shoulder. Yeah. Every woman yeah. in it gets naked in it. At some <laughs> that point. one's kind of off. Next category: best death. Motorcycle is shot in face. Dancer die. 1987. Penis rip. Night of the Demon. 1980. Bazooka to the Body, New Barbarians, 1983. Best death. It's not a bazooka. I didn't realize. Yeah, it's like a pistol. <laughs> it just not seems not like it bazooka. should be, right? Oh, I thought it was like <clears throat> a shoulder cannon thing. It did too, for some reason. Until I saw the footage, I was like, oops. Oh, well. I don't know which they, one I voted for. They had <coughs> titty terrariums on their suits, so I don't know. It could have been futuristic laser weapon of some kind. Oh, Another God. one I went back and forth on, and I think I was just like, this is what dancer die should win but i doubt that that's what won yeah, i've been wrong before motorcycle is shot in the face i was on the i was on the fence about this one too for a while yeah this one was interesting it was split three ways like the the uh new barbarians kill was like more fun mm-hmm. his fucking body exploded but the brutality mm-hmm. of that motorcycle shot to the face is just like it stuck with me <laughs> It's also everything leading up to it is mm-hmm. amazing that we didn't have on the clip that we saw, but it's that whole long car chase with that trumpet that's going berserk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The... It's like, it's and the insane. guy flies off and then it gets intimidating for a minute and he walks up slowly and pow. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. just aren't Because when we it. all saw that, we were like, what the <clears throat> fuck? I mean, it all hit us a lot. But then when I was watching the new Barbarians clip again, it just looks like. The actor literally gets disintegrated <laughs> on camera. And I was like, good yeah. God. Like, it just, that left such an impression on me after I was watching the clips over and over. I don't, I had to go with it. But It's very Italian, I would say. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it is good. And the penis rip is, I mean, that's yeah, great. That, that one I was, was like, that's definitely winning for it's a while. Great, then, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we we definitely channel. left that uncensored on social. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> yeah, I stopped censoring nudity on our pods. I'm like, yeah. YouTube's not surfacing us anyway. It's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's you know what? Let's see who won. How about that? Hey, Bill Burr. 
How about death? Right, death, death, huh? death. <laughs> Oh, a motorcycle oh. got shot in the face. <laughs> Deserving. <laughs> Very good death. I think that one had the I would like biggest to, uh, reaction from all of us. Oh this yeah, year, mm -hmm. by far. Yeah. yeah, that was my first choice for a while, and then I f switched to the last second like an idiot. So how did this one won? So it was three, and then one uh, one. Yep. So it was me, Joey, and Justin voted for motorcyclist shot in the fucking face. Apocalypse loves the dong, and <laughs> nice. uh, JD. Loved that Italian explosion. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're all they're all worthy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the whole front half of his body is a squib. Like it just it's great. It just turns into <laughs> I, I think I'm a little biased against that one because I've seen it so many times before, like you know, in Alamo uh, like Alamo pre shows or something, you know. Oh, uh, okay. So I've been like, you know, I've seen, I've seen it a lot and I'm like, this dancer die one doesn't get a lot of play. That dance or die one was the right one. <clears throat> right on. Well, yeah. It's also crazy to me that that motorcyclist death is in dance or die. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. I yeah. didn't. I think that's why whenever we were all, if, if we go back and watch it, we were all kind of like shocked. Yeah. It was because it just hadn't happened like that in that movie up to that point. <laughs> Nothing. Well, it had a lot. It had that other sh scene where all those guys just ransacked that pool party. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Dancer dies the that. coke and the the coke and the coke. Coke and the coke. Was, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It had some good stuff. I keep confusing that with Mr. No Legs because of the well, scene, but... when they ransacked that pool party, it was cheesy. It was done really yeah, it, was... it was it was corny. But when he pulled threw him off the motorcycle and then shot him in the face, it looked brutal. <laughs> yeah, those, the yeah. squibs are fucking crazy. Yeah, it's also that was not like pick. in your face. It's like it's a little subdued, but so brutal, and your imagination has to fill in the rest. And it's like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. I agree. I, I like that one, even though I didn't vote yeah. for it. Yeah, <laughs> <That's all. clears throat> I can be wrong. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> well, this isn't even the right book. <laughs> God damn it. Too many All right, JD, uh, calm down. Speaking of bears, though, speaking of bear suits, this this is a new one that just came <laughs> in. I go to a24.com, use my link in the description, and order some stuff. And get some. Yeah, that would when have been the perfect punchline followers. when we were talking about it. Bears? Like, <laughs> yeah, just, you know. Just, yeah, yeah, hunting yeah. bears. Next category. In the category of best B, the nominees are Boutonnieres, a woman scored the Betty Broderick score. Happy look out! Ah! Honorary. Honorary. Uh, black market body part hack business from Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. Best B. Thank you. Welcome. So, how are we feeling? I voted the same way Julie? every time. I think I voted for Happy Look Out. Hmm. Uh, I actually think. don't know which one I voted for. Hmm. <laughs> I think Dang. the first one I was, on was the, the first one. <laughs> this was a tough like year to vote for me. Anyway. This was a this was a tough category. Because we had a category. Yeah, I mean, JD, you were all over both of the out. boutonnieres and the happy look out, huh? Yeah. The happy look out okay. was good. Happy think, look out uh, came I don't know if it came about last season or if it started this season, but I was so happy that mm -hmm. uh JD understood or I don't know who said well, it first. It started but we understood this season each because other. It started on Blades. Yeah. I don't think so. That was the first time y'all did. Start? It. No, we were talking about it before. We have been mentioning it like a casually and then it sort of well, evolved into Blades a Blades actually happened on a golf course. Yeah. True. And then we yeah, it, it might have. It <clears throat> might have. You're right. It might have. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Because we called it for the Cyclone one. That was that was one of the choices. Well, Cyclone we'll, we'll was way after. Excuse me. But no, yeah, Cyclone no, we, was during Fredel in May. Yeah, that was fairly early yeah. on, I think. Because we were Blades? definitely we were talking about like how July? ridiculous. Maybe. It was before blade before fred May? i don't know yeah blades was late blades was late that was pretty recent so it was blades a summer was movie i think blades was 
August. I think Blades was my birthday, actually. Oh. Mm. Mm. That so was the was podcast kind of that we said. <laughs> so this is, I'm so glad you brought that up, Adam. I'm going to do a little sidebar here. Um, that's what I do. Bar come aside. So like Adam said last year, <laughs> he said like, he was like, yeah, probably, you know, nobody will ask me how I'm doing and, you know, or it'll be my birthday and it's midnight. And it's like, <laughs> well, it's not my birthday anymore. And we said like, oh, that'd be hilarious. And he goes, oh, my birthday falls on a Thursday this year. And it fucking happened. Like none of yes, us noticed it, it at the time or anything, but we were like, I was like, oh yeah, happy birthday, Adam. He's like, well, it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. Hey, Charlie Full Brown. circle bits. <laughs> yeah. Eeyore well, was always my favorite. texted him in the daytime. Yeah, Justin texted <laughs> me like first thing in the morning. <laughs> we, we well, just, first we, thing in his morning, which was like, you know, noon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm awake now. I had a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> at 11 30 <laughs> like i've been awake for four hours but now i'm like functional so Happy birthday. yeah i gotta work up the nerve to talk to a person mm -hmm. so this one we have to figure this one out guys we have a tie oh oh shit two, well we two, know where i one. stand i voted the same way twice i'm not wavering well, I, I'm sorry to say, Apocalypse, that you're it you're gonna have matter. to. <laughs> Why? Because uh, you're the odd man you're out. You're the odd man out. Nobody okay, would ever this... accuse Apocalypse of wavering. <clears throat> we had so this. To... <laughs> this proves to me that y'all don't know shit. <laughs> so instead of breaking the tie, he's gonna convince us to. <laughs> so you're so the we have to have a runoff where we we have to exclude that, and now you have to vote based on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our you votes. have to, yeah. You have to vote between Boots <sighs> and Happy Lookout. Ah, y'all are making it, me. If we want, JD can state his case to for you, both of them, <laughs> because yes, they're both please. kind of his. Please, did you prepare a statement? Uh, I did, but let me first. Hold on, Jesus Christ! This is not a bit that was planned, but I just I feel like I need to properly suit up for this. Okay. So look. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm relatively well, for those of you on the audio podcast, he's just put a boutonniere on two tuxedo. For those of you on the audio podcast, get your fucking life together and turn on Spotify and watch. Even what if you're driving. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially if you're if driving. You're driving. <laughs> Which brings me to the other nominee, Happy Lookout. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, okay. <laughs> Happy Lookout uh, is a great B, but I felt that it was, we have another category called Best Happy Lookout. Uh. So, I felt that was part of my reason for going with Boutonniere, but also it's such an honorary B that it doesn't really like the special sniper special ops stunt. I felt like, okay, let's go for the joke here. Cause it's so ridiculous that he's having a stunt double walk down the stairs. That was my one like jokey answer vote. Like I really, I really wanted this one. This, this boutonniere is not only for style, but it's also <laughs> above the heart. Okay. And I feel like <coughs> if these cool dads are going to be taking pictures of themselves in cars and putting picture frames around the house, <laughs> Then we can show up for the boutonniere, the B of the podcast, which took over for months. This was what all what we talked about. Boutonnieres, boutonnieres is when you show important. up, you're dressed boutonnieres. For lunch. You know, you have to wear it <laughs> not lunch. only on your lapel. Yeah. Yeah. When lunch. You're, when there you're was dressed. so much to that. <laughs> <laughs> you're never okay. fully dressed without your boutonniere. So that's okay. my case for the boutonniere. Now, what's your case for the happy lookout? Ah. Uh, I don't think you should vote for it. I think you should vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my whole point. <laughs> the, the case for the happy look out uh, is I think it's a more exciting B. I think when it happens, we're exciting. all very we're all very into it. I think there were uh, there was one movie that I think nominated where we were going ape shit. Uh, oh, it's Scream for Help. Where we were just we knew what it was. We saw it oh, coming. Yeah. We got very excited about it. I think we would have gotten excited about more boutonnieres, but they are more rare. They we are very rare. rare. Yeah. We didn't see yeah, another true. one all season long. I don't think so. 
And you did a great, great job of the happy lookout uh, in Scream for Help because I didn't think there was enough time. Even when I re- watch it back, the car is like two feet away from her going 90 miles There's an hour. always time. Then. <laughs> <laughs> for a happy lookout. Uh... Uh, okay. It just Joey hits it so well. Happy lookout. And it, everything after that is just brilliant. But yeah. Wait, so now um, you're telling him to go know, for a happy lookout? No, I'm ma- I'm making no. the case for Happy Lookout because he doesn't thing, have Mike, one. There's only one man here who cared enough to wear an actual tuxedo <laughs> and put a boutonniere on. So excuse me, there's man. a lot of passion involved. Okay, in I've fully made my the tits. <laughs> I've made my conclusion. Go ahead, Apocalypse. Hollywood chainsaw hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, all right it's I, a, I, yeah so I, would I, anyone I, else okay. like to change their vote based on i, I will go my vote for hollywood hey chainsaw hookers <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. now we're talking all right now we have two for boutonnieres and two for black market body part hack business <laughs> and it thus becomes who's the odd man out now uh me Oh, can shit. I can I state so, my case against? Can I state my case against Hollywood Chainsaw? No, real quick, not to besmirch Fred Olin Ray because he's our you know Lord friend of the pod. Friend, you're besmirching him. So <laughs> just he was have at, at it. Joey's now birthday. that's a hell of a bee. <laughs> besmirching, <laughs> besmirched. Um, because because I will say that like when I read the black market the. I don't remember what it is, but like when I read it, it looked like it was going to be delivered in the way that like maybe he has a sophisticated laser weapon of some kind. Like I thought <laughs> there was more musicality to it, but he just says, you guys got a black market. Blah, 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 blah. And body, it just body, wasn't as spectacular body part as business. I wanted it to be body part business. Yes. And so that he was my just said Planned Parenthood. Body part, body part. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> body part. Body part business. Body part business. Body part business. Wait, so who who is who right now? I what did I vote for? So, Adam. so Joey and JD are on boot team Boutonier. Oh, I did vote for Boutonier. Okay. The Justin team, and Apocalypse yeah. are on team Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. And okay. I'm on an island of Happy Lookout. So do we need to You know, case? I think I'm gonna go to Happy Lookout. You know, I'm gonna go to. I'm That's where you happy. started. You started gonna, at Happy Lookout. Uh. <laughs> I'm going boutonnieres. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you know we what? have I think three. We have three. Okay, so we have, have a four. All right, we have a quorum. All right, we boutonnieres have is the winner. boutonnieres wins best B. Congratulations! <laughs> I don't right. have a graphic for you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, trying to keep big old egg was not going. a B, right? What's that? Uh, not a favorite B this year. Not a best. Not B. A I think it was B, no. uh, nominated initially, but did not make it to the final three. What was it? Can't yeah, I'm thinking big old egg thinking about that egg. Uh, I don't it's know. Nominated if it's nominated for a best it's bit, best at bit. Least. Yeah, best, best bit. bit. Okay, yeah. Well, even though it's a loser, it still has its own category. <laughs> Joey, why don't you do the honor of reading the next category? <laughs> Best Happy Look Out! Blades 1989. Woo! Golf. Hot. Scream for Help 1984. And Cyclone 1987. Best God, Cyclone, that one was great. Hmm. That was good. It was just bef- we we mentioned it in the pod, so we had to have been talking about it uh, before Blades. But yeah, it, it solidified itself in Blades, I believe. Yeah, you know, you know what I think it was. I think we said it during a movie on an episode that didn't get make it to the podcast. I think we talked about how ridiculous that is. That because we've we've riffed it a couple times. It just I don't think it made the actual episode. Yeah, we weren't um, thinking about it as a honorary B yet, for sure. But it's basically uh, for anyone who doesn't know, or if anyone's listening still, so, uh, it's just basically when a when a car or a motor vehicle of some kind, or a, a, even a a, a wily uh, lawnmower, lawnmower. <laughs> is <laughs> going a out, going moving towards a human being, and uh, you have to look out because it's similar to that movie 
Happy Gilmore. It could be a shark too. <laughs> Where I mean, uh, honestly, it could be anything. Ju- oh, yeah, it could be anything. Barreling towards someone about to kill them. Yeah, it it's doesn't gotta, have to be. Yeah, uh, I, I think it like has an, to be a motorized vehicle of some. You think motor? What if it was a shark? shark? And someone's know. on a buoy, and the shark has just would, come in, and they come exactly. back to the buoy, then back to the shark, then back to the buoy. So, so Jaws is just one long happy lookout. Okay. No, fuck, <laughs> get out of here. No, get, I, get I, no, here. I, I think <laughs> what I'm thinking of. Jaws. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what I'm thinking of is more like Indiana Jones, or like like a barrel of the or something, something older barreling at you. That's inanimate, like not a sentient mm-hmm. being. No, it's canon. It's a barrel now. Okay. What it does it have to have the Sam Raimi camera? Wait, yeah, Justin, what'd you no, say? So. No, just a thing. I mean, Scream, it helped. Scream for Help didn't. No, it does. Yeah. Not a it Sam does. Raimi camera. Yeah. Like a POV it comes, of the The thing. camera comes right at her. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. So. Evil does, Dead, the trees. It's just yeah, something it, coming at someone and you have to yell just like Julie Bowen. Yeah. It's fun because in Blades, like it almost hits someone, and there's so many like smash zooms and all this shit. Yeah, Blades, like it, they're they're just like edging you. <laughs> Not a lawnmower yeah. pun, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, apocalypse. I, I'm ghosts. actually like they're upset just, that just I didn't think about that before you, I yeah. said it. <laughs> no, that was a pun, but it, it was a double entendre. It, it wasn't an intended pun. No, though. it's what. No, it was so good. You have we've talked about this before. Apocalypse. When you get. When you get used to making so many puns, they start just happening. Yeah. And you can't stop yourself. You're yeah. just addicted you to the punnage. Yeah. I get it. I get it. It happens if you want to be a terrible comedian. <laughs> but whenever, but Justin, whenever you nail a pun that's also a double entendre, you, you're, you like basically got <laughs> another, another ranking system higher in your punnery. Oh, I thought you were going to say in the snake cult. Dang, no, 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 no. Is there going to be a pun level to the snake cult? Oh, no. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. You fucking wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one won? Which one won? Best happy lookout. Uh, gets a winner. Oh, Scream for oh, help. Man. Nice. That one's amazing. So four. it also is surrounded by one of our better bits. Uh, just the whole thing is fantastic with the woman talking about being pregnant and having her whole life ahead of you. And she's getting an abortion. <laughs> it's going to be great. Boom. Car <laughs> right to the stomach. <laughs> two for her one. Body kicks flips in. over the car. Oh, it's a twofer, um, but they save her boobs. It's great. Yeah. Twofer because <laughs> yeah. it killed her and the baby. Yes, yep. exactly. You got oh, it. That was That's exactly it. it. Next category. Best bit. <laughs> Justin versus Matt. <laughs> big ol' leg. Big ol' leg. Who's this titty leg? <laughs> yeah. Baby There's baby the baby. audio in there, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Who's this titty leg? Best bit. <laughs> okay, I voted for the same one both times because big ol' egg oh, no. was great. It was great. Great. It but is But nothing made me laugh harder than pity lady and it was it was justin's comment that just sent it over the edge for me Wait, I had a comment in the yeah, yes. yeah yeah <laughs> you, you say, say oh, oh yeah and then when joey confirmed that we were all divulged or what was it devolving <laughs> devolving into trash or whatever i said yeah, You're, it just it just was a really fun. Why more when less word good? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have to agree. Unsurprisingly, and the winner is <laughs> Titty Lady. <laughs> 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 okay, much funnier if you just read the titles. <laughs> when I have, when the audience that has no context. <laughs> well, yeah, it's it's from Sword to Justice. Uh, there is a booby looking woman, <laughs> and she just walks up out of nowhere into the movie, late in the movie, and I say, 
Who's this titty lady? <laughs> Adam replies, yes, she's very booby. <laughs> Yeah. Brilliant. I start Brilliant. really cracking up at that comment. <laughs> and then we all start laughing. <laughs> I mentioned that we're devolving. And Justin submits it with the we are becoming cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> Why more when less work good? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. A great moment in Trash Movie King's history, I would say. <laughs> When we realize we've gone yeah, that too joke far, is in it's in my vocabulary. I, I I've said hmm. it multiple times. Uh, but JD, I do agree with you. It's barely a bit, but it is so funny. <laughs> hey, I voted for it. I, it's great. okay. Yeah, but I I think that the the egg is probably a better running gag, and then I think even ses the Sesame Street thing for Bobbin Scored is a better. Oh, running the Sesame bit. Street. Yeah, yeah, the Sesame Street one's good. Hey, but, yeah. <laughs> I think I voted for the I don't egg you one. Can, I don't know how to make you feel real mm, good. You did. <laughs> Justin voted for the egg. Okay, Am I the only someone... one who voted for the egg? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody have an egg? I figured y'all would all have eggs. But... My egg that Mine I had is broke. behind the monitor. <laughs> I had a I had a soap dispenser with an egg, but the it egg, broke. The egg one was ridiculous because I was like just egging Adam on. Oh. I was like, I was like, I was like, why don't you show us your eggs, Adam? Or something stupid like that. And Adam was like, okay. And he pulls out an egg. And they come to find out, yeah. like, like we all have a macho man impersonation. Y'all all yeah. have eggs. Just <laughs> random eggs. Do y'all keep do egg carry decor? Pocket eggs? going? <laughs> what? Do y'all what, do what is that from? Do y'all also carry pocket eggs? What is that a pocket egg from? <laughs> is that from just like always a, sunny? A I think it was Frank that has <laughs> okay. like pocket, pocket eggs. Egg. <laughs> Can that I offer you a nice egg in this drying time? Egg in this drying time. Egg egg this time. <laughs> yeah. Well, if y'all don't have some, I mean, I brought enough for everybody, but I didn't. Have <laughs> God damn it! Like, <laughs> I threw away I my eggs. I didn't recently, have so. one egg. I have no <laughs> eggs in the belly. Is yours a real really. egg, or is it like one of those wooden <laughs> eggs for a drawer? It's rubber. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, wait, wait, Actually, what you, I have Easter eggs. Egg? No, 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 no. It was a is, gift. Is it an eraser? Nope. An Are animated sure? gift? If you, you just tried. rub it on your egg, rubber egg. It's a rubber mm. egg. I think it's for um, like hens that like when they lay the eggs and then you take the eggs, oh. they mm. need something to sit on so they don't <clears> get ornery. Hmm. And so you have these well. like fake eggs for them to lay on. Did you just say ornery? Arnery. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a, like how do you, how do you spell Henry. that? Because I never know. I never think to. O R N E R Y. Honorary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just never spell Henry. it out, so I never think about it. How yeah. I, I just don't use that word. I don't ever. <laughs> I say it. I say it verbally quite a bit. I think, but then I don't ever type it. So. <laughs> Forty years old. <laughs> I just don't I use that like word. So. <laughs> no. so, I, don't, I never I know really knew that's problems. And that is a good way to never use it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I, I spell I, all the words you don't spell. You know what I mean? I do know. You can't misspell the words you don't spell. Okay, don't worry about it. Cut don't, put, don't, um, don't test me, though, because... I won't to spell uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will misspell it. Because... <laughs> Are you trying to get make an eggs pun about the testes? Because you did go on a riff about that. <laughs> no, the Adam's <laughs> eggs are just so smooth. Wow, something. that was a good apocalypse for like half a second. There. I almost. Yeah. I was like, wow, that yeah. sounds just like him. Almost nailed it. <laughs> All right, next All right, I category. Think, I think JD reads the next one as me. All right, JD, you oh, heard. God, you heard tough. it. Okay. <clears throat> next category. Okay. Curious what I sound like. Best unintentional protagonist. Skip. Wait, are we real? Are we doing this? Oh. <laughs> Scatfish man. <laughs> Lieutenant Hoagie, which I can't eat because I'm allergic. <laughs> and Chick Chick Boxer had a great one. Me Michelle, <laughs> was it unintentional? All right. <laughs> oh I think God. she won, but that's all I got. Are wow. we Perfect. He has more delivery. I can't do like the voice, but the delivery. 
<laughs> He's got you pinned, I think. Yep. It's a it's uncanny. <laughs> All right, early you, you nominee have a joke for next every year's podcast. Best <laughs> every <laughs> podcast, you have a joke where I just it stays in my head forever because you'll we can't see where you're going, but once you get there, it's just <laughs> like everything comes into focus, and it's <laughs> such a great joke every time. God, was it the magnolia <sighs> tree that you were allergic to? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I don't remember. He telling he a fucking story. He was like, like, that's why I didn't even remember. <laughs> it wasn't real. It was. It's one of those where he's like, I got a joke, and you could tell he's thinking of it like right then. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought of it. Now I have to figure out how to make it. Hold on. <laughs> Please hold. You boys ready to come to on a journey a, with me? <laughs> used to climb a magnolia tree. Beautiful, beautiful magnolia tree. In my oh, backyard. I remember this. this one. Was, Donald Trump starts most. Couldn't of the climb speeches. it because I was allergic. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, that was just an aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah just an aside. <laughs> just so you know, I'm allergic. Just you know, in case the story doesn't sound real. Well, you know, details make the joke sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the <laughs> details make the joke. <laughs> uh, so the nominees <laughs> of that category. Uh, yeah, we had Scatfish Man, oh who was just a fun, great thing. Yeah. So fun, fun character. Yeah. He's, he's, he's scatting and <laughs> bartering for a, a whore. Real yabadoo uh, time. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Uh, we have a Lieutenant Hoagie. <clears throat> from bad girls from Mars who really just steals <laughs> I, as I was scrubbing through that scenery. movie yeah as I was scrubbing through that movie again I, I had realized that the other characters are covered in subway wrappers every time he's on set with them hmm, because like... he's, he's chowing down on hoagies <laughs> so much <laughs> that his subway wrappers are like in their pockets and shit like that. <laughs> There's an implication implication that he's had several before the scene started. Yes. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, they it's paid good... him in sandwiches, probably. <laughs> and the foot long was only five dollars. I wonder if it was a guy who showed up to set with like five hoagies and they were just like, Well, you're gonna be doing that the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were like, Hey, uh this, can you yeah. read some lines? He's like, I think I can read a couple of <laughs> Lines if you, oh, perfect, perfect. You know, now try this with a sandwich in your hand, and, and maybe your mouth too. He already had one in his hand. Let's be like, honest. Can I finish like my a... sandwich first? No, no. <laughs> no, you're in, baby. I'm Come starving. On, We're rolling. <laughs> JD's got that character. And also, now. that was Fred Olin Ray. That was like the movie he made, like in between movies, right? Because he had like yeah. extra money, and he's he like, made it in like two Let's days. Make this in like. Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the whole thing was improv. Like, guaranteed we got actually 10 that grand. Part was improv, too. Like, yeah, yeah. Dude shows up with sandwich. I, your sandwich guy. Yeah. Sandwich guy. Yeah. Uh, titty lady. I think that had <laughs> to have been the case. But yeah. Uh, I believe I voted for Michelle Bauer because she's my girl. Michelle Bauer yeah. is. I think I did yeah. too. Because, because of the name of the category <clears throat> is, I think, why I voted for her. Because she really comes in and just makes me root for her, especially in a, in a shitty movie like Chick Boxer. <laughs> she's the only one I cared about when she comes on screen because she's yeah. just got uh, that chemistry or whatever it is about her that's amazing. And she just is spewing it all over that movie in about five minutes of screen time. I was gonna say, does she does she come back after that scene, or is it just that? that it's just call? that. Yeah, it's just that she steals. She, God, like, she's like Hannibal Lecter. She. Just... I was gonna say, what is the movie that somebody won an assistant or an assistant <laughs> supporting <laughs> actor with like the minimal, such a minimal amount of screen time? Is it? Hannibal I think Lecter? it's Hopkins. Yeah, for Silence of the Lambs. He's on screen like six minutes or something, and wins. I, yeah, it's like maybe maybe ten at most. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty good. That is kind of amazing. Similar Although to I... like uh, Nicholson and uh, A Few Good Men, right? Like he's kind of barely in that movie, but it's but... all you remember from it, <clears throat> right? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I voted and for Scatfish Man. <clears throat> amazing, as amazing as he is, and as much as I wanted to give any award to uh, uh, Marty Gras, Marty Gras Massacre, Massacre. Unfortunately, I think Michelle Bauer was just better for me. I don't know about you guys. 
I think I went Michelle uh, Bauer the second time. I like. Michelle. I don't think the first time I did. She really takes a turn too, because she's like, "You people make me sick." And this why don't is like you just blow your head fan. off? <laughs> yeah, why don't you just go die? I think I made like it's such an inconvenience. Like she rattles on for a couple minutes, but then she's like, "Why don't you kill yourself?" And that's the end of the conversation. Like. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad if she won, but I had to vote for my boy Hoagie because he's yeah. just, I don't know, literally chewing scenery. Yeah, we all have a, lo- <laughs> a little Lieutenant Hoagie in us. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. And the winner is Lieutenant Hoagie. Yes! Bad girls yeah. from Mars. How did he win? Did y'all forget who you voted for again or what happened? <laughs> I think I yeah. Did. I probably okay. voted for Hoagie. <laughs> uh, Joey remember. at Apocalypse voted for Chick Boxer. Everyone else, Hoagie. <laughs> wow. Rude. Wow. So me and Joey <laughs> had it right. <laughs> yep. Again. Just uh, reclaiming the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all. I'm sounding uh, like what? The white patriarchy. <laughs> yeah. Again. The ho- Hoagie. <laughs> all right. Now we get into the... Uh, I guess the more traditional ones, if you will. Yeah. Starting with, does anybody need to take a break before I go to the next category? We good? We can. Oh, if you I'm want. good. Okay. We'll, I'd like to do talk about we'll do the one gum more. bit later, but later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next category, we've got for best director, oh, the great. nominees: Gerardo Preciado for Narco Shark, Michael Winner for Scream for Help. I'm sorry. And Fred Olin Ray, Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers. <coughs> nice tits. <laughs> can, can we stop? It I just thought hurts. the music would be longer. <laughs> uh, I don't know, because uh, they're all I do. deserving. You do know? <laughs> yeah, well, I know which one I voted for. Who did you vote for? Fred Olin Ray. Fair enough. It's funny that we've talked to two of these men in uh, yeah. one mild, light capacity and one pretty heavy capacity, so I was a little biased, and I definitely voted for Gerardo. Michael, or is Michael Winner? Yes. Michael Winner, yeah. Uh, went on to direct, you know, pretty legit stuff. Yeah. So he's a, clearly a pretty great director. So this one's a tough category. But, you know, so did <gasps> Fred Olin Ray. Yes. He also went on to direct pretty great stuff. I mean, directed, yeah, like, great trash. He a wonderful trilogy of Christmas movies. Yeah. <laughs> We're on at 10 a.m. to... It's on the schedule. Yeah. So I've watched a lot of them. <laughs> he I've been watching that man to go down the stairs. So... Yeah. Tough category. Um, I, think, I think I went with Ray. I, I was on the fence because Narco Shark was really fun. But I think I gave this one to Ray. I think for me, I went Gerardo because it was like he did everything, right? Like he That's a good mm-hmm. point. That is true, yeah. He um, so I think directed it, he wrote it, he edited it, he acted in it, he, he made it. He breened it up. Yeah, he, he shot did it everything. also, didn't he? He was camera. He yeah. breened it. So who did JD vote so, for? Because that's gonna be I guess the tiebreaker. <clears throat> who did you think I voted for, Apocalypse? <laughs> Um, okay, I think it's clear who I voted for. That's what I do to the six. I think you probably voted like, for Fred Olin and Ray. Think? I don't know if it is clear who you voted for. I think you voted I love for Michael Fred Winter. Ray. I think I tend Michael. to lose these, so uh, probably you voted for Fred Olin Ray. I think you voted for Shout Michael, out to Michael Winter. Winters. I actually went to school with Michael Winters, but this is Michael Winner. Um, <laughs> but I just want to shout out my friend Michael Winter, Winters. <clears throat> wow, fuck I was like, here's the it. thing if you. If you listen to the Narco Shark episode that I was not on, well, the interview, uh, you'll notice that Adam makes a joke at the very top of the show. And it made me think a lot about my decisions that I'd made up until that point. And <laughs> I think I p- picked the right director. Because okay. as you said, he did everything. So okay. let's uh, see that winner. I mean, what was what, what, what was <laughs> you the joke? Michael Winner? Uh, yeah, at the top of that interview, I asked Gerardo if he wanted to uh, say anything to JD who hated his movie 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. He was pretty aggro white guy about it. <laughs> that was humblest apologies. <laughs> He's like listening to a bunch of deaf tones and then came in hot. Yeah. <laughs> That's my deaf tones impression. <laughs> 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 All, all you need to do for Deftones <laughs> impression is albums. a Bjork impression. That's it. Mm-hmm. You just do Bjork. It's the same thing. Like, I watch you so. That's, that's all it is. I don't I think I have a Bjork impression. So, uh, yeah, and you do now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see who won this. It sounds Bunch like a Norwegian Bjork. mouse whispering in your ear. Best director is Justin's favorite. Gerardo Preciado. Congratulations. Hmm. Did literally everything in that movie. Well well done. You know, there was a lot of, I know on that budget and in that style, it's hard to like make this word I'm about to use match the work, but it's hard to watch Narco Shark and not see him as kind of a visionary uh, filmmaker. Like he has a vision. He wants to bring it to life and um, he does whatever he has to do. Even if it means changing something on the fly or putting a lot of thought into how he can make something work. That's just completely busted. Like he could have a plan a B and C and all of those fell through for him. He still came up with the plan D. Sometimes he came up with a plan double D and <laughs> He had a way. Of, no, that's yeah. Fred Olin Ray. Yeah, I was gonna say that's Fred Olin Ray. Yeah, that was Fred Olin. But lame. but he did have he 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 does have a style that I don't know that everybody's gonna see what we see in it, and I hope they do. I hope they see that he's what's the word I'm looking for? Resourceful. Yeah, yeah. I think if you're looking at it like uh, we look at baseball MVPs, where it's like you know. <clears throat> the guy that stands out the most on a team or is the most helpful to the team. He's like the guy who pushed that movie into existence more than, more than the other two guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And you know, that's not to say anything about his direction, which is also fantastic and bizarre and good stuff. Yeah. It's Way also worth noting Mr. that Michael winner went on record saying that he had never done less to a script in his life than scream for help. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, great, great work, Gerardo. Mm-hmm. Good job. All right, next category. We'll have Justin read this one. All right. <clears throat> we got best actor John Wintergate as Jim Royce, boarding house. Jason Magic as Jeff, LA AIDS jabber. Ted Pryor as Chuck Dawson, killer workout. Yeah. Chuck Dawson. Chuck Dawson. Hi, I'm Chuck Dawson. <laughs> I hope this one's unanimous. I did not see uh any of these movies. Killer workout. Killer. <clears throat> I didn't even, You didn't see no. Jade's Jabber either, because that was just me and Apocalypse and that oh, I think. I yeah. Uh I voted for Age Jabber. Uh full <gasps> well knowing only three of us saw the movie and it even would have an inclination to vote for it. Just thought he was the most deserving for what the category is. Wow. As far as a trash acting category. He, it's definitely that. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. is what I think of when I think of bad acting. So when you say I that, love though. it. I love but I loved it at the same time, you know. I think mm. I went AIDS Jabber just based off of that clip, which was <laughs> amazing. No, yeah, he's great. No, yeah, so over range the range yeah. of emotions. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but he did, throws did he himself take into account. Did anyone take into account that boarding house, there's a missing like hour and a half of comedy that we're not <laughs> adding was into it, this was nomination. Was it an hour and a half? Are we talking? Is this like a hypothetical a three part hour of the movie, movie that wasn't actually it was, in it? No, it's no 157 it minutes, I believe. <laughs> yeah, they cut right. out. No. Look, they cut this, out. <laughs> Cut down yeah. to a, a hundred. The studio was like, yeah. lose the comedy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're like, right. okay. Um, um, there are I, bits still in the movie. It makes sense. but Seeing these the clips all over again, I immediately was like, 
Get, like going in order that I just now saw them. I was like, oh my God, I regret not voting for boarding house. And then Hollywood A's Jabber, I was like, eh, probably some putts like Joey would vote for that. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'm glad that I'm. Uh, and then whenever readable. I saw, <laughs> and then whenever I saw <laughs> the last one, I was like, yes. I see why I voted for that again. Chuck Dawson was the shit. And um, <laughs> he is the franchise. <laughs> he, I laugh he, about you saying that a lot. <laughs> what? On the podcast, you say, yeah. why would you kill Chuck Dawson? He, you're running out of breath and you're like, <laughs> yeah. he is the franchise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't remember saying that. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I wasn't on moment. that episode either, but when he had me at Chuck Dawson, I'll just say that. He had us all at Chuck Dawson. He's a he's what I would say he's doing it more of a movie star thing almost, even though he's in a trash movie, which you know has it's valuable. A I feel like he's like directed by his brother. He's like yeah. a Steve Holt. Yes. <laughs> or he's he's like a uh, O'Doyle. Yeah. With Doyle rules. <laughs> well, and it's it's funny because he's uh, he's definitely doing that movie star thing where he has that fight with the guy outside of the um studio, like right when you first meet him. And the guy's like six, seven inches taller than him, bigger than him, and all that stuff, but he still beats his ass because he's the movie star Chuck Dawson. Well, he loses when, later, but you know. He does, yeah, he loses <laughs> by the pool. But the big fight at the beginning. You're like, in no world would this guy beat this huge fella, but he's the franchise. <laughs> he's the franchise. I don't remember saying that, but that's, the, that's, the that's cool that I said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, he deserves it for that. Yeah. He does well, reprise that one. role in uh, a couple other movies. Because I have a feeling this is three to two. And the winner for best actor... Dead Pryor, <laughs> Chuck Dawson, Killer Workout. People. <sighs> man. Yep. Just more mistakes, man. You guys are so weird. <laughs> Justin voted uh, with you for Jabby. Well, I think you did. Yeah. Despite not having seen that. <sighs> that was wonderful. <sighs> See, Apocalypse. This is Johnny Bangs. At first. I know you wanted you brought up L.A. Age Jabber uh, more than once. It seems like in our nominations mm -hmm. episode, and this was the one. I was gaslighting you. Well, yeah. he, he admitted collusion. Gaslighting. I didn't, just, I, did, I didn't just say that. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. get, no, 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 no. We all heard it. Don't, use, don't use gaslighting appropriately around me. You know I don't understand. It. <laughs> you do I understand it, Joey, though. You do. What? What? I think you do what understand it? it. You do. Yeah. He's, he's oh, gaslighting like us to the definition of gas. <laughs> him knowing about gaslighting. <laughs> I can't possibly do it. I don't even know what it means. I can't. I prefer oil lighting. <laughs> Like from like whale blubber. <laughs> Thank you, Apocalypse, for that. I prefer <clears throat> wax lamps. <laughs> oh. Hmm. You're a gentleman. I just like flashlights. I don't know. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about oh, that big old leg. <laughs> uh, oh, congrats. Uh, what's his real name? Tom? Ted Pryor. Ted. Oh, you're just being condescending. <sighs> He's got priors. Uh, next <laughs> category. In the category of Best Actress, the nominees are Edie Williams as Emmanuel in Bad Girls from Mars, Patty Duke as Nancy Evans in Amityville Horror, The Evil Escapes, and Meredith Baxter as Betty Broderick in A Woman Scorned, The Betty Broderick Story. Best Actress. It's a good category. Best actor, comma, yeah. female. <sighs> I think category. Betty Broderick should win this one. I, yes, she should. Yeah, yeah she should. And I she didn't? I'm pretty sure I voted for oh Betty Broderick. God. Hold on no. a second, Adam. Are you saying that Patty Duke, you're giving it to Patty Duke because you didn't win the Emmy? Or did she win the Emmy? Uh, I don't know if Patty Duke did, but no, it's Meredith Baxter that should have won the Emmy. 
That's what it was. Okay, never mind. Uh, that's yeah, the she history. Lost, we she lost the Emmy to uh, the woman Betty that's Petty married to uh, John Cassavetes. Yeah. No, we're trying to rewrite history here. We're trying to correct a great when, injustice. Wait, it's just, well, the she, Emmys. I agree. She was missed. up for an Emmy for the Betty Braddock story. Yes. <clears throat> yes. And oh, she God. lost. She should have won. I did not watch that movie with y'all. But whenever I started watching these clips just to see it, I was like, fuck, I wish I could, I wish I could vote for it. I don't know that I did because I, I thought it would make me kind of a fraud since I didn't actually watch oh, the, the movie. From the Justin Petty school of okay. voting. Justin, I, gave, I yeah. gave that up because I, I had to vote for something. I didn't watch much of anything this year and all the ones that were in the I had to vote. So I just basically correcting his low ratings by this. <laughs> if anyone else wanted, if you guys didn't vote for it, it was E.D. Williams. So let's see the winner here. I'm curious. Yeah, I, I don't remember what I voted for. God damn it. The winner of Best Actress the one and only. is. It's got to be. It's oh, Meredith Baxter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank God. We got ah, something right, damn. guys. <laughs> It, it's been, a, it it's been a few categories since we got no, it on. right. I, was it unanimous? It was not unanimous, and that is a huge fucking miss for the Trash Movie Kings. It should have been unanimous. We could have had Who our did? first unanimous vote. Who yeah, fucked we, it up? Wait, JD, I think, fucked it up. Apocalypse fucked it up. Because <laughs> Apocalypse yes! <laughs> didn't vote. <laughs> Who fucked it up? He Apocalypse. was literally the one just giving everyone shit. Yes. <laughs> Apocalypse <laughs> voted for Edie Williams. Okay. At least you voted Mars. for okay. the one that probably could have won in a different year. She's very booby. She, She's so breathy. You're, you're Betty Broad's husband. I don't Apocalypse. need those slutty panties. They just slow me down. Yeah, they just slow me down. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a ride? Want to take a ride in my car? Um. Well. Okay. Was well, good. we corrected history. Thank fucking God. Yeah, we we, Williams. we did it. We did it. All right, two more categories, and then we are done. Wow, I can't believe we went through them this fast. Really? Ooh. It's been 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was like cursed. Has it been 90 minutes, or was Jesus. that first 40 minutes? Not, not on the. I'm counting. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been 90 minutes since we started at 10:45. Practical effect <laughs> goes to apocalypse. Oh yeah, I, hold on, I got a pee. That. No, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Fractal oh, effects by Act of God. I can't believe you guys <laughs> screwed the pooch on that one. Yeah, I can't either. I, I, I don't Adam know didn't I even vote for it. it. <laughs> that one still bothers me so much. That one bugs me. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Blood Lake? How much yeah, shit you gave us for the Act of God thing and you didn't even vote for it? <laughs> That's gas. I get it. I get it. He just wanted it to be nominated. Just to be nominated is is it's he an just honor. To, it's a true it's, honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just just want to be a butthole this weekend. There are some times <laughs> when the joke is better than the category, and that was one of them. And we blew it. We blew, blew it. it. Mm. That's speaking of blowing part, it, you know, uh, speaking of I, blowing things, <laughs> I was gonna say the the bubble gum pop was like one of our best riffs ever. We each got a little piece of that in there, and it that was, one's we didn't really talk good over each other. Mm. Fucking great! Anyway, well, then why the didn't episode. it make pass make it past the first round of voting, JD? If it's I such a great fucking who... riff, and all five of us are in part are in the voting, why didn't it make oh. it past the first round? JD thinks there's a because I voted on the wrong it. link. Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> it counted for it in the wrong. I don't think I've. There's, there's I don't too remember many that good, one. There was too many good ones. There's too many good it ones was, there. Yeah, this is a tough category. God, next year we'll have best joke versus best bit. When we'll have a. It's a very booby category. Yeah. And stipulation. <laughs> I do want to see if JD voted for that. <laughs> God, I hope. I hope he didn't. <laughs> when we had the two votes. Okay, he did. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, I think <laughs> I think t the JD's to let me let me make sure that this is right before I throw him under the bus here. Neither of them got in. <laughs> Probably <laughs> <That> makes <laughs> sense. They cancel each other out. Uh, huh. 
<laughs> He's like, I have made a huge mistake. <laughs> Across Bubble the gum, board, actually, all won categories. All of it. I kind of, I had COVID. Wow. And I did the math wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. So best bit was a huge category for full transparency. See here, <laughs> best bit was a was a huge category. We only took the top three from each category. Best bit had f- four, and so there was Titty Lady, which had three votes. That was the the most yeah. voting for the first round. And then there were three that each had two votes. There was Justin versus Math, Big Ol' Egg, and Bubble Gum from Blades. And I made the decision to cut bubblegum. Oh, my God. Mm. The conspiracy is real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the account. Academy Adam. is running things. <laughs> well. Adam, do you, do you of work for Dominion? Full transparency. Systems? Let's get this recount going. Okay. Let's vote. Let's Look, count these by hand. If next year one of y'all wants to take care of the nominations and the voting and all that stuff, then you can wield these powers as well. I don't I don't care that much. It's more fun. I will do what I fucking thought. So you can live with the decisions that I make. (laughs) I'm taking it over next year. We're gonna have we'll get get everything right because I'm just gonna pick whatever I fucking (laughs) want. Joey's like five categories, quick, like thirty minute episode. (laughs) <laughs> favorite part that's it it's shut up i part. know what the winner yeah. is here yeah. <laughs> uh there was only one other bit received a vote and it was kanye's appearance on the betty broad <laughs> pod i voted, I voted for, I for that, that one. yeah jd that one was funny though thank you jd i, I did that. it's a great bit yeah. Uh, Betty Broad did suffer a little bit in that category, though, because there were three bits from that episode alone. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think people kind of got paralyzed there. But Kanye was the only one that got a bit or got a vote. So wow, no that's voted for the Sesame Street one. Well, well, nope. Because because hmm. I mean, when you're forced between an egg and a hard place, that's the yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta crack a few eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and get Crack the best bitch. And make an omelet. City lady's best joke. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Egg in a Hitler yeah. place. Yeah. It's gonna be joke. It's very topical. Did you say when you say when you say yeah, because when Joey says like, don't call Adidas. <laughs> they hate Betty Broderick. Do not like, just... call Adidas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going, it's like longer than you think it's gonna be. It was pretty great. Penultimate category. Oh, wow. Let's go. The best episode. Boarding House. Episode number 74. Panther Squad. Episode number 64. And A Woman Scorn. The Betty Broderick Story. Episode 54. Best episode. Oh, yeah. Two. I did Two. find it interesting that the three best are 10 episodes apart. It's 54, 64, and 74. We were on a roll. Oh, yeah. Man. 10, 10, 10. Every which would, 10 are in good. Gematria would be <laughs> 1, 1, 1. I think next year we should have Nolan do the voiceovers. Yeah. Uh, he might oh, be able to yeah. talk almost more. You know, I could feed him lines maybe. Um, you want Nolan yeah. to say titty lady? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> we don't Absolutely. know what the year is going to bring. But uh, uh, yeah. Yes. I did, I did have him to, to say very booby. <laughs> I was I was trying to get all these renders going today while Sarah Beth and Epi were putting up the Christmas tree, and so I'm like off in the corner typing out "titty lady" on a laptop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the most. <laughs> Epi's learning to read, and I'm like, no, say say away, say away. <laughs> you don't need I got something for you to read, little one. <laughs> You're here. not ready for Bibukaki. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that too, just because I haven't met it yet. Right. <laughs> hey, be hey, cocky. <laughs> What's all over your face? <laughs> just say it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> fucking fired. <laughs> but if Elmo sings it in the song, is it so racist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
so Eddie, best episode. No. Uh, yeah, uh, um, Panther Squad, a woman scorned. I know which one y'all. Who know who y'all listened picked. to all of these recently? No, fuck that. No, Panther fuck Squad. That. Really <laughs> I don't have an informed decision at all. Who listened to them at all? Me. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> who who fucking got him there? I listened to <laughs> almost every episode that we did this year. I think. Yeah, uh, I missed a cup. I didn't listen to Evil Tunes and the Christmas ones. <sighs> but I definitely listened to these three. These and are definitely strong episodes. Very strong episodes. Panther Squad was better than I remembered it. Yeah. Yeah. Panther Squad is it a great just, episode. It's it just kind of blew me away of how... Yeah. yeah. I was at the right pitch for once which was very rare i think but everyone we else were all was... kind of firing off like it, it was like we were all that right level of inebriated <sighs> and i didn't i didn't even like that movie very much and you guys loved mm-hmm. it and i was just like i fuck it. i think i hated it which gave me the fire to be interesting <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it turned out it's just uh it's easy to easy to love that one oh, although Betty Brown has a lot of good bits um and boarding house i listened to so many times because i just think it's our one of our more informative and odd way <laughs> episodes and i think apocalypse is really funny in that one i think it makes me laugh oh, way, how he opens the show by interrupting like so quickly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then tries to make the the b-o-r-e-d joke yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes boardy house chef boy rd house <laughs> yeah, I like that movie a lot. When he so gets, when he gets stuck on the DE, it's like uh, it's incredible. I have no recollection of this. <laughs> I'm just now remembering all the fucking. <laughs> that's scream yeah. for help but still yeah just a classic it had the same, apocalypse yeah i think it's a classic apocalypse episode yeah and we're all pretty good on that one as well because that movie is bad shit but uh and i wasn't there for panther squad but i listened to it and that's a damn good episode yeah that yeah. one's also i I can't even remember specific things about it, but it's just so fucking funny. Well, that's I wish I could it's just like that. the gr- group of girls doing things together was always so dumb, and we would just start like talking about <laughs> them running in and out of room, them running all the way down a hill, them running through a field. Well, and it has that interesting wrinkle. Like you, your friend was in from Oklahoma, and then you had the VHS of yeah. Panther Squad. Just randomly, and then you like you're <laughs> reading the back, and yeah. Oh, is that when JD re- does the? Oh, that's JD's plot. Yes, JD, JD does, the, does plot. the plot. The plot yeah. But he came uh, in like 20 minutes into the movie, which and so, it so much funnier. <laughs> and we thought it would be funny, and it was just like, wow, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is what detail. a JD plot is like, huh? Wow. Interesting. Didn't learn the I, lesson, I, but that's should, okay. I wish I could remember. I've only I've remembered it that, but I. <laughs> I was time really time. drunk that Panzer Squad episode, and then I'm like blackout drunk for that Girls of <laughs> Mars one. <laughs> but I will say, Justin's plot for whatever that ninja one was, holy shit, that was so good. Everyone was I can't, so I didn't mad. Remember being that good. Because it's like <laughs> six word sentences that are just <laughs> jokes. Jokes. You're like, wrote jokes just, the yeah. whole time. <laughs> And I, it was just I mean, visuals that it would, like stood out to you. It wasn't explaining what was going yeah. on anyway. Boom, ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> boom, like, ninja time. <laughs> boom, ninja time. Boom, and ninja time. They're wrong, but in all boy shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you were hitting the moments we remember, but anyone not, not listening to the episode would have been like, baffled. It's just like great radio. <laughs> oh, this guy's a retard. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what it was like. The remember Mission Impossible or no, the the Mummy trailer when they didn't have that one line. <laughs> yeah. of no, video. I it do was not like that. Like you, yeah. like they cut out. They cut out like you cut out all the plot points, but you had all, all the other stems of like the jokes yeah. in there. So that's yeah. all we heard. And it was, yeah, it was the important stuff nasty. stuck around. <laughs> I, I think I think if you go back and listen to every episode, you'll realize that like we talk over Justin a lot of times 
But if you go back and listen, the funniest things on the show are said by Justin. <laughs> And Justin, I don't realize Justin has nice moment. icing on a, a lot of episodes. Yeah. Yes. I don't I don't always hear what he says. Like whenever he lands a great joke, I don't always hear it in person because I'm an egomaniac, I guess. And I just hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I also I'm going back, a lot. Like I I don't talk loud as loud as everyone else. And like I just kind of sit in the background. So when I say something, <laughs> it's just like I just kind of mumble it and I just move on. But they're the funniest thing. Anyway, I voted for Panther Squad. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, I I, I went in it too. I went I into the nominations that. thinking that. Let's yeah. get to the winner because I think it. Oh, I don't know what he thought. There you go. He tried to railroad <laughs> okay. Adam. And- dead, uh, dead air. <laughs> Let's, let's get to the winner because I gotta go to bed. <laughs> let's get to the winner. <laughs> and the winner of best episode Panther Squad. Panther episode Squad. Nice. Cool. Very nice. Nice. Now Adam, what were you saying? And now the, now Apocalypse is gonna be winner. Okay, Apocalypse, hey, you're on you're gotta be on. And mute. the winner <laughs> for best <laughs> episode. Yeah. Hey, hey in the winner, best of sixty four. That was my I was reading it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Your voice just sped up to like triple what? time, but well, the pitch yeah, didn't we change. Got, we got him from 30 seconds ago, and now it all sped up. <laughs> <laughs> but it, weirdly, the pitch didn't change. Wow, that's very crazy because I didn't touch anything. No, your internet is sputtering because you're on your fucking phone. Yeah. Hey, maybe <laughs> um, do you want to pause yeah. for a second and let him hop off and hop back on, see if it fixes it? <laughs> you love that. You no, love yeah, you I should actually. On. Yeah, it's really you just bad. want me to hop on. Okay. How about nope, home? Pop see if it fixes then... it. Oh, yeah, is that yeah, better? Yeah, yeah, oh, you kept it? <laughs> I kept yeah, it. that's better. Apocalypse okay, well, better. well, I'm down to 20 uh percent battery so yeah well we have one category left oh okay you could plug in uh Mm, i'm using that jack okay final category it's the final category best movie boarding house 1982 scream for help 1984 and Blood Lake, 1987. Mm. Damn. Mm. Mm. Tough, tough I call. I don't remember where I landed with this one. Tough one. Blood Lake could have won another category earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won Blood the pooch. Lake. I wonder why that is. Maybe, Maybe because didn't. it's the only movie you watched out of all of them? <laughs> <laughs> so your opinion matters <laughs> so we have we have another interesting uh predicament here okay. we have a tie okay. two two and one i want to take my tie off for this who's time. the one who's the one well we had two for boarding house mm-hmm. and we had two for blood lake Okay. So it's between Boarding House and Blood Lake. And it was Apocalypse again. Who voted for Scream for Help? Was that me? I voted for Scream for Help. <laughs> Adam, you the what? man out. So here's what you got to do. You got to come over to my side. It was, you got to come over to my side. Wait, who, who, what, is, what is your side? Boarding House, baby. Boarding, boarding House. house. Boarding, boarding House. Track jacket. Boarding House. So yeah, we have Joey and Apocalypse for Boarding House. We have JD and Justin with Blood Lake. Oh, Interesting. Hey Adam, are you correcting you, my mistakes? Okay. Adam, it's 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 basically the weekend. Are you going to be a butthole again this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, this one this one was a really tough vote for me because. Obviously, we all know I love Blood Lake a lot. Oh, yes. here we go. He's prefacing <laughs> already. <laughs> Are you going to make an argument for Blood Lake? No, he's not. Play he's some quarters. Out of Blood Lake. I haven't even voted yet. Yeah. 
I was just going to say that I loved Scream for Help a lot, and it's a well-made movie, considering um, the score is all there. Like, I loved Scream for Help. I loved Blood I Lake. I'm coming to your side, really Adam. Did. I'll vote for, I'll change my vote to Scream for Help. Oh, but I was about to change oh, to Blood Lake. So. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, <laughs> hold on. Way, baby. Yeah. I'm going to boarding Ooh, house. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> that means boarding house wins. Boom. I done. prepared an argument for boarding house. Okay. All right. Go, go ahead. Go. Joey has the floor. Everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to do something unprecedented and ask you guys to be quiet. Oh, while I present this closing statement for the, the, the season. Respectfully, I disagree. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> you want to start some music? Yes, it's true. Blood Lake is in your inarguably charming. It's young filmmakers having a good time in Oklahoma, buds and brews, water skiing, and friendly, elongated goodbyes. Hair metal, <laughs> and then the real highlight of this thing, little Tony. What a cutie, right? And hey, kids saying perverted, precocious little things is fun. But the fact is, this style of comedy isn't anything new. Feeding children adult lines of dialogue and watching them say it, it's funny, and it always has been, and it's just as funny in this movie as when I tricked Nolan, my own son, into saying, titty lady next year. <laughs> it's going to be great. Category. However charming he and Blood Lake is, I can't help but think this film is one of the most neutered films we have ever watched in our history. Whoa! There are no moments that make me question anyone's safety, anyone's taste. Oh. This things, the things going on, uh, going on outside the frame with this group of friends are quaint. One imagines that behind the scenes, little Tony probably had his first kiss on the set of this thing. And it was probably the most wholesome <laughs> thing ever. And all these people involved in this thing had a blast. And they went home afterwards, their regular little lives and their regular little towns to work with their regular little Hobby Lobby for the next 35 years. <laughs> it's slow. It's 90% padding between three death scenes and a kid talking about fucking. Yes. And I get it. I get it. As good of trash as it is, it's a well-worn late installment in the dead horse that was the slasher genre of 1987. Yes, it's trash, but is this essentially PG movie that for me evokes words like cute and tame deserving of the best trash of the year? Do you think Neil Breen would be proud of you for that decision? Mm -mm. Let me tell you what I think he would be proud of. Jonathan fucking Wintergate, the writer, the director, the lead fucking actor of Boarding House, where Blood Lake and Little Tony may have put a fun, albeit lazy, spin on the backyard slasher genre. Jonathan Wintergate was an innovator who pushed through his exposed loins into existence the first ever shot on horror movie, shot on video horror movie, excuse me. A movie that people actually gave their absolute best to complete just to impress fucking George Lucas, of all fucking people. And they ended up with this absolutely incredibly incompetent film that is so dense with lunacy, we couldn't even keep up with everything it was doing. A movie with an original length of 157 fucking minutes, culled down to a gracious 100, this man, Jonathan Wintergate, had an idea and committed everything in his life to making himself blow Yoda for generations to enjoy. I just feel it in every scene. I know you guys do too. Telekinesis, girls, ghosts, grits, gloves, metaphysics, banana hammocks, banana sucking, boobs, butts, bush, and oh, bones. This movie has a woman getting arred by a ghoul, for Christ's sakes. There's a yogurt bukkake, porn audition tape recording, a goopy rat mask with a filth in a filthy fucking shower, a crew member standing in the background, a man moving his socks with his mind, a goddamn jam band that gets the opportunity to perform at Obama's freaking suicide. There's just so much trash. My main gripe with this movie initially was that it gives us too fucking much. This is the trash movie that can follow the insanity of last year's roar. It's again a writer-director, not to mention special effects makeup artist, with an unwavering vision that leaves you with a distinct taste of bad decisions ling lingering in your mouth long after its conclusion. It's berserk, it's unhinged, it concludes with a fog machine, hair, stare, magenta, light fight. I know we weren't all present for the boarding house episode, but I know that you're bright and beautiful, intelligent people who made the correct decision here. And if you don't, I'm going to play that 157 version of that <clears throat> next week if you don't fucking vote for this. So let's vote for Bordy House, spelled B-O-R-D-E. 
I can't tell if you're trying to convince us or if you were berating us. I'm doing both. But I uh, just want to say <laughs> bravo. The B no is way. bravo. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, Ben Shapiro. I'm still voting with my heart. I hope. Well, you I hope you do. Them. I, Joey, I sincerely hope you swayed them to our side with your uh, brilliantly authored AI article. <laughs> and Wait, did you did I'm you excited. write that before you knew that there was even a split vote? <laughs> Were you going to read that regardless? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Is happening? This is Jonathan Wintergate as recently as two years ago. Still putting his art out there. What is this? All these fucking Oklahomans still working at a Hobby Lobby, aka a branded, rebranded as at home. Still enjoying themselves. Yo, this is a new movie? <laughs> Is that really the title? Lightstorm featuring W colon 2003 JKW <laughs> ENH1. That's the name of the movie. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Are we really continuing after that? Hmm. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? <clears throat> there he is. With his beautiful wife who is also part of the film. When did Boarding House come out? <laughs> 1982. 82. Yeah, 82. The same same year I came out. Hell yeah. Blood Lake was 87. Blood Lake was five years later. Look, I appreciate everything you said about Boarding House. I do not appreciate that you spent the first two minutes besmirching Blood Lake. I don't know why we need this muck muck raking campaigns in this. uh, I thought it was valid. Thank you. No, we don't need to put down. I wasn't putting it down totally. Uh, Okay. When I think would about Neil Blood be, Lake, would Neil Breen be proud? I, yes, I, I don't think he would care. <laughs> I don't think he would fucking care at all. Your argument is that he wouldn't care. <clears throat> I don't My think he would have an tisk. opinion. My thought about Blood Lake is I, I genuinely don't know if they went to that <laughs> lake to make a movie. Or if they just went to hang out and they happened to make a movie while they were there. exactly, And that's what's beautiful about it. It is just a bunch of fucking Oklahomans with a camera and a bunch of weed and beer and a three-day weekend. And they just made something. And while they were there, the goddamn lake dried up and they were like, you know what? God was smiling upon us this weekend. Well, like part of that even feels knowing like, later like that you wouldn't vote get, for it. <laughs> like they forgot to get the shot and they went back in the winter and they were like, fuck the lake's dried up. Oh, well, we'll shoot it anyway. That's the shot. Oh, wow. If only your internet was working well. <laughs> <laughs> My internet sucks. What happened? <laughs> Look, all I gotta say is that that was the most beautiful written thing about boarding house I've ever heard. I <laughs> Probably the only thing written about over JD. House. If you go really far away into your kitchen, your violin will be really small. <laughs> like the smallest violin playing. You know, that, that, it's that pretty bit. small on my cam- or my computer screen. It's like yeah. that. I was just, mm. uh, I was just playing playing off what you. Uh, were yeah, I should have had you play when I was doing that. That would have been. Yeah, good. But he, he I wanted to, like... but it was so good. It was so <laughs> Did you go all the way to your car to get the violin and come back? No, I left because I thought the episode was over. And then my <laughs> violin's just right over there. Like, yeah, honestly, I that was great. Um I I I I <sighs> love Boarding House. Boarding House is a great movie. I also love Blood Lake. I just and saying, I see what you're not, saying. I see, feel that way. I see what you're saying that boarding house 
is like I, I feel like boarding house and blood lake are opposite sides of the trash coin boarding and they're, they're both like the it's maximalist and minimalist trash. yes exactly exactly yeah. they are the platonic ideals of the two sides of mm-hmm. trash movies boarding house is the complete jam-packed chaos bullshit and blood lake is we barely know what a movie is and we're 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 making something uh, I mean, let's be honest. Before my battery dies, neither one of them knew what a movie. Wait, wait no, Adam exactly. is about to tell us. Adam's about to tell us what the fact of the matter is. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I I feel like it's wrong for me to have this this tie breaking vote because I am so strongly leaning towards Blood Lake. Yeah, it's fine. I get it. No one, no, no, not, not everyone watched Boarding House. It's fine. But I, I watched both of them. And I will say that, like, during this whole process of the nominations and the first round and the second round and all that stuff, as I was going back through the episodes, I was like, oh, man, I forgot all of this stuff about Boarding House. But it is all great. <sighs> but it's may, may, I, may I offer It's fine, because you know what, Adam? I'm, we're just going to watch the long version of Boarding House. And I love that. Oh, That's a, like this uh, is a win-win yeah, win for me. It's a win-win for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, look, I purposely who do you think you're talking put in a win for myself because I did not think that I could convince you guys. <laughs> okay, then. Well, then we're gonna do well, a win-win-win because you partially convinced me. I'm voting for Blood Lake, and we're gonna watch the 157 minute boarding right, house then. next year. <laughs> That's not a win-win-win. That's a lose-win. Well, no, I'm everyone. winning, Adam's winning, and we're all winning. Yeah. <laughs> no, every, everybody lost because the wrong movie got. Yeah. Well, not shockingly, well. the wrong movie was voted into <laughs> the canon of Blood. best trash film of the season. How is Blood Lake going to win best movie, Did you but it's Blood not like? going to win best song? Right. It's lost in so many Lake. other categories. It wasn't even nominated for a lot of other yeah, categories. What? <sighs> just what one of those things. Just one of those things that hey, doesn't matter yeah, to what, the academy. You can't, you can't always win your votes, you know. Well, 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 well <laughs> hang, hang, hang on now, because Boarding House didn't win anything either. It was nominated for more, though. It should what have the, won. That best doesn't mean shit. <laughs> It, it does on the win. box when you put the TV. <laughs> it didn't out. win yeah. any of the categories that it was nominated for, just like Blood Lake didn't win any of the categories that it was nominated uh, for. Not my fault. Except it just did. Adam. <laughs> Adam, may I? May, may, uh, over here, JD from, from Houston. I Look. How sad I, that I we're not going to allow wrong. them all to win. No. Here's Are the thing. You... Am I able to change my vote? Because I, I have a compelling uh, argument. About you it. voted for Blood Lake. I did. Go Let's ahead. See, and we I all changed for... earlier and things got screwy. So go ahead, JD. Look, I Ooh. voted for hold on. I voted for Blood Lake. Same way that Paul Newman won an Oscar for Color of Money. Same reason that Martin Scorsese got an Oscar for for The Departed and Leonardo DiCaprio got an Oscar for whatever <laughs> the fuck he wants. Like <laughs> the one that he gets all fucked up in. I voted Blood Lake solo. Because I, it was a bore. It was just, it was, it was killing my energy. It was fatigue. Yeah. And I, after hearing Joey's triumphant um, tribute to this movie, (laughs) I'm thinking that I'm giving this to Blood Lake just because I was wrong to not vote as hard as I did. Not that I should just, I feel guilty. Like I was, I was throwing away like, like anything else because, oh, Blood Lake, I just was so wrong about Blood Lake. But you know what? I think up against Boarding House, Boarding House would win this category. Now, I don't know. It's too late. I can't change. But if I can, I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like you. You may have permission to well, fuck this off. I'm Are you trying to, to avoid watching to. that 157 minute version of Boarding House? <laughs> oh, no, we're going to no. do that. If it's just you and me and Amy or something. We'll do that. <laughs> OK, so, so what we're going to do on my phone is dying. Yes. Apocalypse. <laughs> 5% left. Yes. Oh, plenty. So Apocalypse is almost out. So what we're going to do is I changed my vote to to Blood Lake. Blood Lake won 
okay? Mm -hmm. But then JD changed his vote from Blood Lake (laughs) to Boarding House. So then Boarding House also won. So we have two... Best movies. <laughs> Is this <it> season two? <laughs> it's a split vote. How does it's that- a split <laughs> vote? If he counts, if JD's votes count twice, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So and what is any it? Director- to, okay, it's to end it. Where we're ending Apocalypse, myself, and JD are boarding house at this moment. Mm-hmm. And Adam, me, and JP are uh, <laughs> so three, in the three past moments. It's two and a half <laughs> versus two and a half. And what better way for the Trash <laughs> Movie King season two to end than changing our vote at the last <laughs> second? Yep. Apocalypse really so, wins here. <laughs> so thank you Christ. all for watching and listening. <laughs> thank you, Joseph Graham. Thank you, Justin Petty. Thank, thank you, you, Apocalypse guys. Howl. Thank you, JD Carpicki. I have been Adam Edwards. Thank you all for watching and listening this season. We will see you next year. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>